St. Mary's great Chelsea Gray, back home where her basketball career all began as the Rams retired her number three jersey. I love this game because it just it awards me so many opportunities. It's an opportunity for myself to grow. It's an opportunity to learn about myself. It's an opportunity to meet other people. It awarded me the opportunity to meet my wife. This is important for us to be individuals and be happy and be successful as individuals as it is to be together. And I feel like the happier you are, the more fulfilled you are as an individual. It makes your relationship stronger. We really just fell in love with the people that we wanted to become. Like we used to talk with our friends all the time about having a growth mindset. And I think that's what attracted me to her so much is because she pushed me to go another level. But at the same time, understanding how much I do care uh, the type of person that she is, the type of love that we have. It's an unbreakable thing. And I found my person. Our wedding party. Big wedding party. There goes Candace. I think just being able to witness like their union. I've been fortunate enough to be there for the proposal as well as the wedding and future as well. And so just to see how happy they are, how they compliment one another and how they challenge each other. The smile, you know, the happiness, the joy, you know, the things that she would do and things that she would talk about. And, you know, you can tell, you know your child more than anybody. Am I cutting the bell peppers? The best thing about Chelsea cooking, one, she's a stellar cook, but two, she cleans as she cooks. So I don't have to cook or clean the kitchen. Cooking has always been my happy place. Uh, it was a family thing. We would just all throw down in the kitchen. Before I even go on the road trip, I make sure like I make some meals for Tepesa because then I get nervous that she's not going to eat or she's going to eat out. So I'm just like, okay, let me make some meals for her because she does literally almost everything else. You gotta work on your plating skills, babe. <laughs> and look, it's a thought that counts. Yeah. It's a thought that counts. I tried to do a tea over here. It didn't quite work out. She really aids Chelsea to do the best that she could do. And I think she tells Chelsea, don't worry about everything, I got it. I want to support her in all her dreams and I know the goals that she has for herself and I want to be able to not only support her but to also hold her accountable to those things. Also making her debut with USA Basketball, the point guard, Chelsea! Oh, I remember when she got the call that she made the team, she cried. I wasn't around the USA basketball that much growing up. And so I finally was like in the pool and like I got an opportunity to showcase my talent, how I could be a team player, make others better. Gray, the breakdown, two seconds left. Oh, what a move from Chelsea Gray. James and I, we were like so excited. We were in tears. This was one of her goals, is to maybe one day play for the United States, the Olympics. This is huge. Yeah. Let that go, baby. She will be talking to her own children about this experience one day. It's unbelievable. This unbelievable. Is this is, this is that ultimate goal. And when I was talking about that bucket list, it's getting smaller and smaller. What's going on? Welcome into Nothing But Net alongside Kelly Gramlich, Chelsea Gray, and Muffin McGraw. I'm Kelsey Riggs, and what a rematch of last year's ACC championship. This past year, I was able to try being a broadcaster full time. I was in studio, I was in game, and I just knew I would be good at it because I see the game through a little <laughs> bit of a different lens. Having this big of a win against this type of opponent, it prepares you for times like this in the tournament when it's win or go home. She hired a speech coach before the ACC to like really get better at like her speaking and her tone and her cadence. If she's gonna do something, she's gonna do it 100%. Who messed up my one assist? Yes. <laughs> Hold on, we can't, we have to talk the about The best that. advice that she gave me was like, sometimes less is more. Like you don't have to extend your point all the time. Defensively, they gotta be a little bit better, a little bit more sharper. Make somebody else do something. I think anytime you're a great passer, you see the game differently. That's Chelsea. I watched her on ACC Network. I watched her during the NCAA tournament. She's done a phenomenal job. You talk about championships. You're going to have executing plays. You're going to come down and you, okay, did you do the right coverage? But I think it's those intangible moments that make the difference. I think anything that Chelsea Gray decides to put her mind to do, she's going to be successful. I love that Adidas has given Chelsea Gray her own shoe. She deserves it, and it's a beautiful shoe. I was renewing my contract and it was just a discussion like, hey, I want a player edition shoe. My resume speaks for itself that, you know, now it's time to like make that next leap. 
They were like, okay, we hear you. Let's do it. Oh my goodness, that's just cold-blooded by Chelsea Gray. She has come to play and she knows it's winning time right now. We want to have multiple championships here and her commitment to come back. We are so glad that we had Chelsea Gray at the helm. The magician with the basketball. Success is making sure I've made my mark on this world. My family, we're tighter, we're better, we're stronger. We've experienced love. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> love you. On the court, people have put me in the category of greatness. I've affected others, my teammates, in a positive way. Oh, and look at Gray, threading the needle to plumb. She wins games, yep. and that to me should be the most important thing. She's the clutchest player in the WNBA. Ask anyone. The MVP for the 2022 WNBA Commissioner's Cup, Chelsea Gray. Success just means that you've lived each day to make it better. You, you never know when the end is like, okay, I finally have success, because you're always reaching for more. And I think that's always been my mindset.